Crouch. Bind. Set. Joe presents the House of Rugby, together with Guinness. Ho, 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 and welcome to the House of Rugby. Uh, brought to you by Joe, together with our friends at Guinness. It's Christmas time. And you've just taken no all need the cri- to be afraid. You've just taken all the Christmas cheer out. Yeah, I just, I just, I, just I, a, a bit terrible, of me died watching you do yes, that. It, it didn't really work, but we're going to keep going because we are three wise men dressed as... The bollocks, I think, the way the you describe it. is exactly the right way. <laughs> every, um, Mike, thank you so much for our Christmas presents. Uh, what, what have we come as? It's a joy you have come. You are Rudolph. Yep. Because the suit is called reindeer, and I thought you do lead this sleigh. Thank you. You very don't much. lead it generally down a very classy. Li- but I'm not. That's not <laughs> what it's you. about. You still Red guide. Nosed, you guide I us guide around in the every night. league in the world that you know the do, name. Do you know what he's like. He does lead it with a plum, but he leads it very much like the generals did in World War One, where they had no plan except to walk very slowly <laughs> towards the enemy. <laughs> and and you ran over the top. I'll be back. I'll be here yeah. when, when you get back. And if they ran, you get shot by your own side. If you turned, you get yeah. shot, and you get yeah. shot by yeah. the Germans. Basically, that's what you do with this. Show. Show, right. but with a bit of style and finesse. Right. And James, James is the sa- he's the Santa boss because um, he always thinks he's the boss. Yeah. And think, think, do, you look, do you feel comfortable? Yeah, I do actually. I was disappointed I didn't get the memo about the shirt sitch. I think that was on the WhatsApp group. It was in the group. WhatsApp group. Yeah. 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 Well, every time I WhatsApp you, you never reply. So I thought, <laughs> well, why would I ever open the WhatsApp group to do it? <laughs> Your chat sends us off. And I'm just and a just Merry Christmas one. You look very. No, that's, that, that's got me okay. something. I think it's called ha- Legend Five Thousand. Is it? No, I think it. I don't know what it is. You are just Christmas. Yeah. How was Christmas? Did the, you do stocking? Your first married Christmas? Yes, it was very good. It was very quiet. Still together? Just about. Good. There was a bit of talk about an annulment, po- you know, Christmas evening, but we decided to roll with it. Yeah. Um, it was very good, actually. We had our own kind of Christmas together. Um, you know, last year we we did it together. This year we decided to do it together together again. Bomb off the families. Um, it's very relaxing. We, we did stockings. Chloe sport me rotten as per usual, and I cooked the turkey on my barbecue and absolutely smashed it out of the park. Delicious. Does Santa come to Sandringham? <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, comes a day early, though. Comes on uh, does he? Eve, yeah. He's probably got a lot to get through. Well, get, exactly. get the most important, important people there, yeah, done first. Um, yeah, it definitely wasn't. I think mine came on like New Year's Day when I was up north. Right. So it's lump, lump of coal in bottom yeah. sock. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Character building, though, wasn't yeah. it? Back end. Yeah. Um, no, so I'm, I went up north, saw my mum and dad for three days and then headed down and saw the in laws that side of the family Good. for three days after. Very nice. And a stocking for Mrs. T? Or just a uh, yeah. present? Both. Both. <laughs> stockings <laughs> and yeah, presents? She got some yeah, double bubble. Come on, you tight ass. We can't just give him stockings. You've got stockings and a present. Well, you've yeah. always got to get... Well, we always used to get Terry's Chocolate Orange, a Guinness Book of Records. Yeah. My missus' family always gave Terry Chocolate Oranges. She tried to palm that on to me, but I was like, absolutely not. And, and you've waited. You know you're ten months into your pants and your socks. You always need more pants always and socks. Always need those. So I've got pants and socks. I, I go a step further. Advice for some of the lads next year. I, I go through her um, her phone. No, I go through her stuff and go. Uh, oh, like, if she's run out of a bit of makeup, women always need hair ties. Um, you know, pop a book, replace her perfume few chocolates a few bits and pieces then it's useful functional bits because as a bloke you can go fully <laughs> off piste and get caught out yeah. quite badly it's funny you say that so my first married christmas which was a very long time ago now i didn't realize that you do stocking i thought stockings were parents to children right not 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 husband and wife and at four o'clock on christmas eve my wife came in and said i just finished wrapping your stocking and i said you what she goes i just finished wrapping your stocking what is the only shop open until five o'clock on Christmas Eve? Boots. Poundland. B and Q. Uh-huh. So, <laughs> oh, no. So what did she unwrap no, on Christmas no, morning? Spirit no. level. <laughs> not one, not one, but two fire extinguishers and an escape ladder for the bedroom in case of an Shut apart. Well, you, and, and she well. dined out on it, but only for 72 hours because the kicker to the story... We had a fire in the kitchen. She had a fire in the kitchen, and she had to deploy her Christmas present 72 hours after being given so, it. That's, that's, that's unbelievable. But I quite stories. liked it because you knew you were going to go down in flames, so you might as well get stuff exactly. that could put it out. You know, there was a bloke who played, used to play for Wasp called John Yap, who was a prop, right? And it was bizarre because he used to rush up after training because he had his, his wife and daughter locked in the van in the car park. So he was like, can't see it, bud. Got to go. Wife's in the van. <laughs> that's Welsh, really. And um, <laughs> he bought her uh, an angle grinder for Christmas because he knew that she'd just give it straight back to him. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, went there, wrapped out, gave her an angle ride, right, showed him it. Was like, what, what, what have I made all with this? <laughs> yeah. And let's go back. <laughs> we used to have a guy called uh, Tim Mitchell, who used to be the kit man at Gloucester, going back a long time. Yeah. And he used to basically buy his kids 
a jacket that was in XL, so <laughs> and then he would wear it, uh, and trainers and everything else, and paving slabs so he could redo the thing. It was yeah, he, he was a guy that had only ever been he'd been to Cheltenham twice in twenty five years, right. and he lived in Gloucester. Amazing. That says what you need to say, yeah. isn't it? Really, I, I had one disaster actually one year when I went out with a partner, and uh, she decided to give me things like pillows f- for my bed. And I was like, I've got pillows. <laughs> and then she was like, no, decorative pillows. It's like, you've completely misjudged me. We're going out three and a half years. What do I want? Extra crap on my bed. Like, you know, women like the yeah, extra yeah. bits on the bed for decorative. Yeah. Men just want to, I just want a pillow and a duvet. I don't want extra crap I've got to take off and stack, which makes the room look nice. Teddy? And then I bought a handbag. Teddy bear? No, no, there's a few teddy bears if you go to the fairground and win all the prizes like I do. <laughs> oh, Colin, you had a couple Natural of back athlete. in the day, didn't you? I did have a kid. I did have a and a monkey. Yeah. I didn't have a, I had someone called Bobby Bear. Right. Bobby Bear, um, but I lost him on an airplane. Oh and no! I, I know. I cried for ages about that, and then we just—I just manned up really, and that and just carried on. But yeah. um, I don't but think you can ever suddenly man up after you've cried for ages. Can no. We well, yeah. do you just, just, you just admit you. Well, actually, no. You'd be frowned upon for manning up. You should have been emotionally open. Yeah. I want. Yeah. I, well, I did man up. Do you know what I did? I non-gendered up because that yeah, I womaned up. Whatever. You <laughs> Whatever it is, the correct thing to Just do. Just keep this idea. rolling. It's I diamond. Think, I think you're going to have your friends back in. Touch. I don't care. <laughs> I, did, I did whatever you're supposed to do. I themed up. Yeah, you themed up. Them yeah. up. You zed up. I personed up. You opened up um, and shared. It is the season to be Johnny, um, and we've got a little Christmas present. But we need the magic of television to reveal it. So both of you close your eyes, put your hands on your lap, close your eyes. Better okay. be some... No, 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 don't off your hands up. It's going to be put on the table in front of you. Oh. Okay. Right, we're all doing it. Ready? Bring in the pr- Christmas present. I'm hoping this is taking 119.5 <laughs> seconds. If someone ring. slaps you in the face, I'll be most upset. They I've I've say miracles happen at Christmas. With, with that little tap on the table. Okay, you can now open your eyes. I can smell the oh, stout. Oh, look excellent. At that. What do you think? Well, we're only sh- how many shows it, deep are we? We're now 11 shows 11 in. shows in. Oh, it's cold as well. It is. This is unbelievable oh, scenes. Quite good, isn't it? Would you like to drink the amber? Yeah, I would, yeah. Cheers, chaps. Happy Christmas. Oh, yes. Hold on, sorry. Hey? Merry Christmas. Ice, yeah. Don't break ice, eye contact. Ice, yeah. Ice, ice. Yeah. ice. Cheers, Happy like Christmas. That. Thank you. God, that's been worth waiting for. <sighs> right. Didn't, didn't get the memo about doing the song. Even I didn't do that, and I was so tempted to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's not the. Is that not for listeners on the podcast? Fortunately, the two the people who could do that has, has tried to show two people who don't chest. have to worry about professional um, playing professional games. Actually, no, you don't have to do that. No, either. I don't either. <laughs> you probably chewed through that as well, didn't you? No, I really like it. Guinness goes down really well. Watery eyes and no, 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 no. Actually, if, of all the drinks that I was going to neck irresponsibly, two, two even though you should do it responsibly, yeah. would be a Guinness. I love it. For two. our listeners, it takes 119.5 seconds to pour the perfect pint and has has taken it down in three and a half. Well, I honestly thought that's what we were doing, because you no, surely can't no. sip a, a beer through a thing, can you? I'm a sipper. Well, does someone want to give me and, another one? And a tipper. Hypothetically. We'll ask for a refill. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hypothetically, can someone pour something out of time? We're second? going to be holding Haskell's yeah. head over the in toilet. Murray. Murray, you, might, you might be doing run, running to and fro. Happy yeah. Christmas. Right, right, you have got 119.5 seconds. Oh, yeah, Go. Time you. Um, obviously, your, your Christmas is going very well as a pro- professional athlete. You've taken down a turkey yesterday and several punts against day. Is that on the to-do list? Are you allowed to... You well, sorry, do, are you allowed to do Christmas if you want? No, probably not. Right. I'm not playing, so okay. I'm still nearing fitness. Right. Um, and I have, Rehab is going well. Yeah. yeah, I've decided that actually for... Um, that went down like alarmingly well as well. You know what I mean? You know, <laughs> you're like, you, know, you taste it, you're like, uh, just when the bubbles hit your lips, yeah. you're like, this could like be dangerous. like Centurion? You have to ask her a question every... <laughs> I imagine that. <laughs> Back to the point, though, actually, <clears throat> at this time of year, I've said to myself, uh, Christmas Eve evening... Um, you know, when we finished Christmas Day, we've had, and obviously Boxing Day today, let the hair down, and then that's me back on back on track straight away. Right. But not not ridiculously let the hair down. I don't normally just walk around chinning drinks. I just did it because I thought we were all in it together. Little port, last, port last, last, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You went on your own there. Did you ever come across anyone who overcooked Christmas and had to back it up on Boxing Day, not feeling tip top, um, or you were so professional that that's probably my first, <laughs> first five Christmases. <laughs> <laughs> Have you, ever played, different times. have you ever played professional rugby on a hangover? Yes. Go on. Uh, uh, it's getting a bit hot under the collar. Yeah, uh, World Cup 2011. A, no, <laughs> no, not by that point. But go in 98 where you'd play Wednesday nights and then you wouldn't think you'd be playing on the weekend. You'd have a couple of nights out and then you suddenly... Suddenly Jerry gets injured. Actually, probably... Leicester the week after the World Cup final, I was probably quite close to being hungover. How'd you play? 
Oh, we beat Leicester for the first time yes, ever so. that I ever played in it at Welford Road. So, so it yeah, works. works. Trevor yeah. Leota was the master of that. I, no, I never done that. I, I, it's impossible for me. I just couldn't do it. I am. I am the worst. I have the worst. Hang- I'm not a very good drinker. Yeah. And I'm terrible on hangovers, as discussed on my mini stag deal. Like I'm, I, mean, I would never be able to do sports. I've never tried to do that. Trevor Leota, on the other hand, was the king of that. So much so that well, he the referee actually, said... He was technically running on alcohol. Yeah. So that just changed his energy system. You know, <laughs> <he's> ethanol. And his... Um, he, you know, when he played uh, Wasps, played, uh, I think it was either Stormers or the Sharks. I think it was the Stormers. And the referee said, you, you can't you quite fairly, you. I can literally test. smell the Jack Daniels over here and he was like steaming but even when he did that he was still the best one of the best hookers in the world Yeah, but he could do that I just never do that I could never do that in a million years is it all quite tight now are you quite regimented I mean do they do I just you... think you can't I just don't think you can I just wouldn't do it um, I think that some boys get caught short like you always see the story where they don't think they're going to be playing and um, like for example against uh, when we play Leicester at Twickenham this year um, and one of the boys went down Courtney went down I'd had a few bit, and I thought for a minute they're going to ask me to do that, and I was like, "There's no way." I'm I've had four I'd had four beers. I was like, "I'm never going to try and play on this. It'll be so bad because no one knows because you can't come out and say I was, <laughs> that was drinking." The morning of the game, you had four beers. Yeah, no, no, that way. <laughs> no, no, for oh. breakfast. Oh, no. We, all the boys were tra- traveling down to support, uh, okay. so so we were oh, in there so in the crowd on the way down. On the way down, oh, yeah, it okay. wasn't. I didn't wake up for breakfast and go, "Oh, yeah. lads, <laughs> let's a day off." Yeah, yeah, no. So I didn't do that. But I wouldn't do that. No, I don't. That doesn't really happen. I think you get the occasional guy who's. Um, you know, sitting at home, say being out on a Friday evening or whatever, or, or and someone's called him up and gone right. So and so's gone down on a Saturday, and he's just got out of bed and is still hung over. Yeah, that's happened a few times. I remember that happened to one of my teammates. They had to put him on a drip. Not my my teammates, a, a, an England teammate, plays for a different club. Got had been out having a time was like halfway through the night out. Got a call saying you're playing tomorrow. First of all, he hung up and was like, "This isn't happening." And then he went with it. And then obviously came in steaming and they put him on a, a drip. Is he still playing now? Yeah. And he actually played really well. I think he got man of the match, bizarrely. Who was it? I can't tell you. It is a thing that if you have done or you've had, maybe it won't often be the night before, but you could go out and get apps. Actually, it will be the night before occasionally. You have the fear the next day is if you play shit, all your players know exactly what you did. Yes. And they'll probably make a joke about it around the coach if you play shit. So majority of the time you play pretty well. And then you say you fake an injury after about 50 minutes when the dehydration has fully hit you and, and you're almost passing Stretch out. Stretch it off. And yeah. And you, dehydration. You go off. And they'll be like, no, we need you to stay on. You're playing so well. I something's good. Yeah, something's good. <laughs> exactly. And you, but can you walk off a hero. But to answer your question, no, I never, could never do that. And also, we did actually say in the show before, you know, we did with, um, with Ben Ryan, yeah. that we wanted to solve a mystery, which hopefully we're going to see this evening, that when we do the show, there's a few complaints about heavy breathing. <laughs> And See, someone did say this to me, but it can't be me anymore. I think it is you. No, but they, well, we said that, but on the last show there was no heavy breathing, and apparently there's a little whistle. And I think the surgeon, <laughs> I think he's only done a half a job. I did ask him if he could leave the whistle up <laughs> yeah, there. But we, we, we were listening to it back, and I know sometimes when I'm not concentrating, I just go. Day story, but with you, but with you, I listened to it back with Chloe the other day, and literally you hear this, and then. <laughs> and, and it is so audible because these microphones are so close to your face. So last week we, we, we did a control. So it was either here, it was either no, uh, don't, Alex, don't, there's me. There's no need to point in this direction. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's quite cl- clearly not it me. It was either Alex, me, or you, right? But then you weren't here and Ben Ryan was here and there was no day snoring. <laughs> so I want to check this after We will. We'll get we'll it we'll we'll to the TMO. Or the TNO. Oh, there yeah. Moving swiftly on. Um, a bit more. Um, did oh, we... Murray's on with a drink. Go Murray's on, bring it on. Come on, Murray. Come on, Murray. Wave, just... the, wave the camera, Thanks, Murray. Mate. Give oh, my God, a nice you poured it so well. And this is this oh, a shamrock. Oh, someone's it's put H in got... the top of it. Is it... Oh. Is it... Oh, sorry, Murray. Is it... Yeah, Murray. Is it, an... is it H for Haskell or is it rugby posts? Is it... That'd be H, H for Haskell. Gone. He's literally gone straight back to the, to the party. Um, it, it's... Do you find it as a Christmas quite boring as a player? Or do you just... It's just not a... Just go for it, do it. Yeah, well, now I'm on the other side of retirement. Yeah, it was boring. It was boring. You have so much more fun now. I was really. I, bet you, I my, bet you do. It was one of my the biggest hi- highlights. I was looking forward to was being able to have Christmas where you don't have to worry about eating. Who drinking. cooks the turkey in your house? Um, we haven't done one at our house for three years. So, uh, but the wife did do it. it. No, the no. wife did it then, 
but then we've been up to my parents for a bit, and then obviously we occasionally pop over and do let someone else do it. For us. <laughs> is it good though? <laughs> Kick back. Is it good at the castle? Yeah, it is yeah, it's is really it good. Like yeah. that's what I wanted to know. Is it like so <coughs> different level? Uh, so Christmas Day is a little bit more quiet because it's actually a cold buffet because they give everyone the day off. So yeah, uh, they have their big their big days Christmas Eve. Right. Okay. So everyone gets shindig okay. in the evening. Shindig. Black tie yeah. shindig. Yeah. yeah. Would um, you be wearing something similar here? Would you uh, like this, to push the boundaries? The, I'm, I, I, this year I w- have a couple of these. I've ordered a few. Have you? <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so we open presents Christmas Eve, so I wore one of these to open. Because these are Christmas Oppo suits, yeah. aren't they, just to give and, them a little... And then just something. to give a little punch at breakfast, I'll come down, I came down in a, a different little setup. And it's well received? It's Yeah. Yeah. The Queen loves bright colours. That's why she wears all those amazing colours that she does wear because she thinks dark colours are, are for sad times. Whereas, so Christmas, I two years ago, uh, she wasn't feeling very well, and so she didn't go to church. Yeah, and we'd obviously been through what we'd been through uh, with our pregnancy that we we lost. So we did our own little private just as a three. Did you? And I had the suit on like this. I was like, mm, maybe I should be wearing something a little bit different today, but. Trying to raise the mood. Wow! <laughs> and did you raise the mood? It did. Well, that's yeah, all you can ask yeah. for. Then. That's all you need. I well done you. Yeah. Um, and we obviously all eat a lot of turkey. I don't know about you. I then well, we kick back on the sofa and watch the Queen's speech. Do you kick back on the sofa and watch the Queen's speech with the Queen? Do you really? <laughs> does she self critique? I mean, <laughs> does she really? Do you have yeah. to nod along? Go, yes. Yeah. yeah. Well done. That I actually. Lovely really point you've just made. There, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, 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 yeah. I couldn't have said it better myself. Couldn't have said it better myself. Standing ovation. Amazing. So you watch yeah. the Queen's speech with the Queen, with a little yeah. glass of something, and yeah, that is incredible. That is, ama- that and is then you flick amazing. on to Die Hard, Home Alone Two, Downton Abbey Christmas Special. Downton Abbey Christmas Special. I, I don't watch it, but there's a lot of people who do. Wow, well, you what, do what as you're told, really, don't you? Let's be honest. <laughs> no, I, I can't. Who's I'm got the remote? I've never I've got, got, got into it. We're watching Downton Abbey. <laughs> uh, we don't want to watch that. Will you? Right. Uh, just like, uh, someone yeah. just comes in and just takes you off. <laughs> yeah. so, no. so shoot that man. Look, it's, it's quite, quite a strange day because if you're from up north, normally I spend my whole day either in my box shorts or my, <laughs> or my tracky beans. There is nothing more northern <laughs> than comparing you and your bockies. Yeah. So, so whereas by, by the time I've normally got up, I've been to church twice, which is quite strange for me, for, from not really a massive church-going background. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's completely different. I've never had to take as many outfits anywhere. As really? Many, yeah. Do, do they get sent ahead in a sort of caravan sort of thing? That they get well, is right. that you bring it down to my level that goes in a caravan? Well, yeah. you know, like, well, that's basically can, can where I sleep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they just got this little <laughs> place yeah, the down the back. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's basically where I, I get put up with everyone else's clothes, yeah. Yeah. Bit of a sing-song? Did everyone gather around the piano? <laughs> oh, chuck a log on the fire, off you go. Uh, Rude. No. Bring out the sing-song yeah. thing yeah. again. Yeah. 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 Rude. Yeah. <laughs> no one, no, no, we haven't heard a sing-song as yet. What, is it sort of like, Per church service, you, know how awkward you get it more... makes me feel that you keep answering these questions just in case someone might be watching that I shouldn't say anything about. I, I hope they I think are. You've, you've answered Honestly, perfectly. So if perfectly. they actually are, someone is that shouldn't be wa- watching this. I'm like, this will be amazing. That time she told me this story about Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh! oh! <laughs> Viewing figures. Um, so do yeah, but just one thing about so you go to church twice. Yeah. Obviously, you offset with like offset that by how many meals you know decent <laughs> yeah, meals. There's a lot of meals. A lot of grazing and wine. So you're like oh they're like you're like oh don't really want to so, go. I want some more food. They're like can't have any food. Go to church. You go to church. You're like. More food, another mm-hmm. church service. It's like when you go to a religious Perfect. group at school, you come in and go, oh, oh, you know, I love God. They go, oh, great, here's a can of Coke. You're like, brilliant. <laughs> you're, like, you're like, oh, read a prayer. And they go, oh, cookie. You're like, yeah, thanks. How much do you love God? Lots. That's like, that's what we used to do. I think I was honestly there every week <laughs> post like re- doing religious studies and just smashing all the freebies in. <laughs> and they were like, you don't even believe God. I was like, how dare you? I absolutely love Jesus. Thank you for the sugar donut. <laughs> That's this what is, I did. This is arguably the most religious point of the year, and you're sort of talking. What? So, what? Okay. Mm-hmm. Don't worry just, about it. just want to remain inclusive to all. When do you open your presents? I'm sure I've just said this. Christmas Eve. Yeah. You do, I didn't realise you did it's your presents on Christmas Eve. This whole thing's Christmas Eve. So right. whole... I thought you did turkey, etc. No no so Presumably you don't do stockings on Christmas Eve. No. No. Imagine like a really hu- a busy 
castle on Christmas Eve and then there's nobody, like the Queen's lighting her own fire, they're walking around going, like ringing a bell, no one's answering, it's all cold turkey. That's what it's like. Right. Everyone's eating everything. Like Christmas happens on yeah. one day, the next day it's cancelled. Okay. That's what yeah. you're saying. Sorry, okay. So ba- basically, she loves her all the staff that she has working for her, so she wants to give as many the day off from Christmas Day. That's she nice. Do you buy presents for everybody or do, do, do you do a My Super wife Santa? is incredible at present buying. It's unbelievable. Mine's how Does she start in July? Right. On sort of a long run. Or so the there will probably be, each year at Sandringham, <clears> there would be, I think there was, this year I think there was 27. And she takes presents for every single one of them. But Blimey then, hell. before, so, what day? 26, so two weeks ago, we had the family Christmas lunch, which is every, all extended memory. Uh, and what is that memories. total? That, I don't know, it would be 50. Wow. 55, and she buys them all presents. Oh. Obviously she not on your card. In, <laughs> <'cause> <laughs> I, I you need to get a little more uh, budget out of this, my, I think. My One wife Christmas. is incredible at buying Christmas presents. And how early, she's, she was done by, I think she was done by around the 14th of December. Yeah. That is unbelievable. Do you let your staff have the... She started in mid-November. Um, do you let your staff have the day off on Christmas no. Day, or do you keep them all in? No, keep them all in. It's a bit like Downs Abbey, where you live, I assume. But yes. you share the once the de- you, once you've had your fill and ha- you throw open the yeah. court for them and invite no. them around. The do you table. open the local sort of beggars and poor people that you throw <laughs> out the food? Do you go in the Do you go in the, the Ro- Phantom at the Rolls Royce and throw food out to the locals on Christmas? No. Not? No. You're, I imagine you're a bit like Scrooge McDuck, like three ghosts visit you every year, going, <laughs> stop being such a wanker. Clinkety, um, clinkety, clank, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, give more out, and you're like, no, I won't, I won't do anything. I it, imagine it's like that every time, Christmas Carol, every year at your guest. Yeah. It is no? the best Nailed thing it. You've about Christmas, those mo- the movies. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what is the f- your favourite right, Christmas, Christmas movie? movie. This is what so is your favourite so Scrooge movie first? Because there's so many of uh, them. I actually think the Muppets. Uh, see, my what well, that would be my wife's choice. Yeah, I love the Bill Murray one. Grand Scrooge is oh, Scrooge. <laughs> talking yeah, about Christmas. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I suppose it is. It is. It it's is. snowing it's outside snow. Chloe's, and it's cold. Chloe in here. says I look like. Uh, or was it uh, uh, the guy, the cameraman? No, no, no. Cameraman. I look like he keeps go- getting knocked out <laughs> in, in Groundhog Day. I look like a gopher, apparently. Pucks of Tony Phil. Uh, she says. Tony she Phil. says I look like Pucks of Tony Phil. Actually, at the moment, currently look like the cameraman. I'm not Obviously, he's not got the rigatoni. But, 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 okay, we might, listen, I, we, we listed things going right. On the way up to Christmas, what were our favourite movies? Chloe loves White Christmas. I love Elf. I think they're really old, White Yeah, Christmas. really old. Well, yeah. White Christmas, Elf. Elf is the greatest. Um, Santa, the Grinch. Santa Claus the movie. Santa Claus the movie. Um, Nightmare Before Christmas. You know, is like a little kind of yeah, Halloween-y yeah, slash yeah, Christmas-y you one. Said, you haven't even said Home Alone yet. I was, no, uh, Home Alone, yeah, 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 fine, okay. I would say mine's mine's Elf, 100%. Die Hard? Elf is... Uh, die is hard is, is Die Hard a Christmas movie? Oh, the Harry Potter films are a Christmas movie because they've got real cosy Harry um, Christmassy scenes. See, Die well, Hard, I think is... We know that's the only thing you can talk about, but we don't... No, it's not. Have to you didn't it. see last week. Sherlock Holmes <laughs> absolutely smashed it. How many did I do? Something like 12 out of 15. You're welcome. Out of 15. <laughs> yeah, you're what, 30, 14 out of 15. But, um, were, they, were, were they more reasonable questions than the well, they, No, they were actually quite difficult. Yeah, you did very well. Why do you always seem bored ago. of what's going on? Like, I, I do, get involved. I do oh, we're think, in it. I do where think, are you? Why are you I, do I have think to remain impartial and on the outskirts just yeah. to keep this thing on the road? Die Hard is definitely a Christmas movie, yeah. both one and two. Good. You know, you know what's interesting? When I listen to these back... You know, there's a lot of times where I, like, um, sometimes trip over my words. Yeah. And sometimes you do it. Do you know what it is? It's because we're never telling the absolute truth. Isn't we it? can never say the truth. That's what I find the most painful. When I look back and I, like, Tell make what, mistakes. Find half down, it's beginning to come, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I can't make mistakes with my words. It's because the whole time we do the show, more, I'm never more. quite telling the truth. Do you In mean, what way? Well, because you can never tell... I can't tell you the, uh, all the truth. When you... Re- the, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. No. When you retire, will you tell the whole truth? No, because you just can't. It, it, it's like, if you actually said no what some of these but things al- are... But then also, some of the truth isn't quite as funny as what we'll probably tell you as well. <laughs> yeah. so, but you've got to bear it that, that way. The number of dinners I've done where I've heard various people tell the same story yeah. that they were there yeah. is just yeah. ridiculous. A lot of them are like people you know just were never there. Yeah. Recycled stories. Yeah. Yeah. But no, but my thing is, honestly, I listen to it back and you hear me... When you're speaking and you're thinking about what you're saying, it's it's difficult and I, and I get frustrated because I listen 
listen to it back and I can hear you stopping yourself do it and I hear myself do it and I start one sentence, go down an alley, go, shit, can't say that. Abort, abort, back out abort, of that abort, one. Abort. Reverse. I'm not like Austin Powers stuck in the corridor. <laughs> <laughs> Just go, tell her what I'm going to say. Why is this car so boring? It will not make this turn. <laughs> You've done very well. I think you've, you've, your media training has got you through the interrogation about your Christmas from British royalty to telly royalty. Mm -hmm. What's it like with Rich and Judy? Do you all sit down on the sofa and there's lots of sort of, you know... Charades. I imagine charades. charades would play no. a huge role. Well, you role. know, I told you, I didn't... When, when I first met Chloe on the last show, we said we, had, we met on Twitter, my wife, Chloe, my wife. Um, How's and that sounding? It's good, actually. I like yeah. that, yeah. yeah. It'll probably be a divorce by the next show, but it's fine. Fun while it lasts. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, no, so I, when I first stayed at her house, I remember waking up in the in the, in the night. And I didn't know who her uh, folks were. I didn't put two and two together. I didn't really pay attention to that. And I woke up in the night and I saw a framed picture of Richard like, on the wall. And I thought, fucking hell, Chloe's into some fruity looking blokes. Like, I'm not. I'm not sure I can. I'm, I don't know anything like that. So this is probably just going to be like you know short short blown thing because I'm not. Like, and then it was only when I dawned in the morning when I came, and I was like. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's your dad, is it? Right. That, well, first of all, I was relieved. Yeah. Second, I was like, oh, God, that's, uh, that's Richard and Judy's house I'm in. And uh, this is interesting. And actually, my first experience was of, of going around to the house was on Boxing Day. at, and, and it was like a baptism by fire. And they basically said, like, would you like to come around for some food? And I said to Chloe, yes, yes. Didn't really pay attention to what I was doing. Got invited around on the Boxing Day for the entire family. All brothers, all brothers. All partners. This was day everything. two. But, it's yeah, not it was, day two. This was like. Was that 2015 then? Yeah. So that was then when I went and spent six weeks with her after, was it? Yes, yes, you did. Yes. Oh, was I doing? The yeah, jump. the jump. The jump. She absolutely loves tins. Good. They, yeah, they used to have. They used to we all said some very nice words about you. You did. You did. And there's one quote. She, I don't know if I can say it. I'm going to say it. When she stuck her tongue out once. <laughs> one more. She stuck her tongue out once, and you said, "No wonder Hass likes you." <laughs> her tongue's like a cooking carpet, but it's not. It's not appropriate. But we don't kiss because we were we weren't married at the time. We're a family show. Um, but anyway, needless to say, it was uh, pretty intense. And I remember. Um, Did you handle it well? Because you, you like to back yourself in the, mm, the little bit of something to, to offer to I everyone. I think there would have been a bit of stumbling because you know what Hasky's like. Well, he doesn't get his words he's out not normally. Done, yeah, he's not, and he's not doing his research. So he's just going and <laughs> saying. <laughs> he, he, he's just that going. Very in, true. Start, ba balance straight in there. All right, I'm in. I'm going to love this. And then, yeah, there would have been awkward moments in there, but he always pulls it. I, got, I got told. I got. Um, Richard told me to F off. On date two? No, well, it wasn't date two. It was, say, date five, date right, six. But on Boxing Day, you were talking. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. so I'd heard that he was, and I've said this in the interviews before, so I heard that um, when he was in the kitchen, because he was cooking crisps, because he's a, a wizard in the kitchen uh, and everything else, like, it's unbelievable that he gets quite intense, takes after a bit like Gordon Ramsay. And I'd heard a story. Chloe had been talking about something, and I'd probably switched off because she was talking. <laughs> and it was, um, and she said... You are so brave on this show. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. Not, I can't wait for Chloe to be our special I know, guest. I know. And, she, and so basically... Um, she said, oh, Jamie Oliver once came round for some food and, and went into the kitchen and, and Richard chucked him out. So I didn't think any more about it. I went to the kitchen. I remember seeing, saying something to him, like gave him a little bit of like minor chat. And he just went, fuck off. And I literally was like, I, I honestly went like this, beep, beep, like reverse, <laughs> out of slow motion. Went and sat down and I was like, well, well. Um, I, honestly, I thought to myself, I have mine to go. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to go home. And Chloe, and I obviously must have looked a bit pale. And Chloe went, what? what What's wrong? And I went, your dad's just told me to F off. <laughs> like, this is a terrible start. Normally the dad's told me to F, F off at least after a year. <laughs> but this has gone really bad. She went, don't worry, he does it to everyone. And then he came in, it was, it was, I was terrified, but, but it was his pleased to he's, he's an absolute hero. And he is taking interest in rugby. And he really? like watches me, he like watches at me, like, oh, get, you know, like, wait, support can't see you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. the old YouTube clips, is it? <laughs> Funny. You know, he, he, I, I put together awesome. a great highlight. Yeah, yeah, exactly. show him. On, on, I caught three balls in my ten clips. It's available, whoa, at least five. It was available on jameshaskell.com. And um, <laughs> I, yes, yeah, so he's, he's been great. So that, that actually, it was from what was quite a dodgy start, was actually turned out <laughs> Have to Have you had them to twicken them? No, I've tried to, but they're, they're quite busy. So I had to turn the time, unfortunately. He's and I haven't played there for a while. He hasn't played for a while. Tins, while. you have a break, mate. Just have a day off, pal, for five minutes. That's My good. confidence is at all time, though, anyway. Is it? Not for long Christmas. Playing. Yeah, but I'm not playing, am I? What is the point of doing all this stuff off the field and doing all this thing if you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing? Don't know. Well, to me, it's just a bit bollocks, isn't it? Actually, do you know, that's, with, that's something we, we'll explore on another show. Fine. Uh, so, but technically, now, with the time... What you're not really supposed to be doing is playing rugby, is it? 
You'll no. actually do more of this. Yes. Yeah, but this isn't what I want to be doing at this stage. I'd like to do this when I can't do what I'm supposed to be doing anymore. But ironically, only when you can't be doing what you really want to do, you end up doing this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this is true. This is true. <laughs> Swings around about the light. It's really quite profound for Boxing Day, this. Um, anything else Christmas you want to talk about? Best Christmas present of all time that you've given or received? I remember my mum and dad did an unbelievable gag with me. I really wanted a Sega Mega Drive when... That was the, that was the, the machine thing, yeah. at the time. Well, it was, <clears throat> well, it was NS, wasn't it? It was a Super Nintendo or Mega Drive, and I was t- I team. Had the SNES. I was team uh, Mega Drive, and they'd done this amazing thing of they'd wrap this huge box up. I'm like, and I'm going around going, nothing looks like a Mega Drive. And they said, oh, we we just couldn't get you one. Uh, we don't think it's right for you. And this, and literally, they got they drove me to the point where I was in tears. On Christmas Eve, because they had convinced me that I wasn't getting one, so I opened this big box. Go, what's in it? And it was a, it was like a massive industrial Walker's Crisp packet, like Walker's Crisp box. I was like, <laughs> and they then I opened it up, and inside there was another box for something else, and then another box, and then finally when I got to the the centre, there was my Sega Mega Drive. Sega Mega Drive. What, the Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> yes, indeed. Mine was um. Uh, the N- Nintendo 64 GoldenEye. When that game came out, it was the most insane video game in the history of the world. And I'd asked for it, I didn't think my parents could get it for me. They got it for me, and I was like, almost almost had a panic attack. And I was like, ah! I went and played it for so long, I just gave myself a terrible headache. I had to go and have a lie down. I think I played it for like nine hours straight or something ridiculous. That game single handedly supported the 2003 World Cup squad. Cause that was all we played. What, a gold night out in, yeah. in Australia? Really? Yeah. Who was the kid? <coughs> no, no, this was all planned <coughs> beforehand in Penny Hill Park. I was the king. Austin will immediately argue that, but I was on a different level to Austin. Golden gun rule. <laughs> know the maps. No one else knew the maps. Jono was like running against the wall. <laughs> Jono, yeah. Well, Jono, just going in the same direction. Jono, Jono, just Jono, Jono, Jono running like he runs in real life. Yeah. <laughs> That's Mr. Gilmore's jacket. And, uh, yeah. Literally, <laughs> Julia White was just breaking control. Wasn't he? Um, so, I love yeah. that. I that, love that. Literally, that, that was all we did. We'd get off the train and it would be a race to see who could get the first four. And then it was always winner stays on. Wow. I love that. We, we, yeah, We're we getting into the youth of today for too many computer no, games. I think... Um, ever does. And the best present I've ever <laughs> bought, I think, was... I made a book once. Oh, wow. I was like, you know, at Apple, you can make those photo books. Yeah. Just, you know, I've got a picture of trolls now, where she makes them sprinkle <laughs> dust and everything. <laughs> I'm like, Mom, I've glued myself to the table again. <laughs> I'm glittering my eyes and stuff. I made you a book! <laughs> <laughs> What was in the book? Just pictures just of your photos career. And stuff. Just, just, oh yeah, just like a bit like Alan Parrish, just different guy. Like, here's me with my clothes off one. Here's me with my clothes off two. Here's me with clothes off three. Here's me lifting a dumbbell. <laughs> Actually, just with you and your clothes off, just for mm. our viewers, uh, we'll describe it to Do our we podcast. Do have any female listeners. viewers, do you reckon? We've got a picture of James. We have a different photo every week. Mm. Uh, and this week it's you looking incredibly oiled up. With yeah, the rig's looking two, the best, four, actually. Six. Six. I'll give you six. Six you know and a half. Do you know what this was? This was a classic case of I did I did a shoot right, and I said to Bert, "Oh, we're doing something," and he went, oh, "Do you do one with your shirt off?" And I went, <laughs> and I went. This was in someone's garage. <laughs> so in someone's spare right. Put a book. This yeah. was in someone's living room. And the bloke said, "Can you do a shoot?" Right. I think it was for the sun. And they went, "Oh, do you mind doing one with the shirt off thing?" And I is went, it, "Is there no. not a red, red, even a little red flag in yeah, your brain that goes yeah, yeah, guy from the sun?" It. Red flag so he goes running to those. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought that red flag went good. <laughs> yes, green flag oh, yeah, went bad. Sorry, and, and so they said that, and then and I went, "Listen, I'm not really the best shape at the moment. Like I, I haven't planned it." He went, "No, well, we don't really use it. You know, we just, you could put a bit of baby oil on." And so I was like, "Wow." The sun, they're trustworthy. <laughs> Next minute, I'm oiled up like a, 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 you know, chip, and I'm and I'm <laughs> there, and then and then that's all the only photos they used. I don't think he took anything else. I don't think it was even a digital no. film in the rest of it. Yeah. Oh, no, thanks for bringing yeah. that in. Yeah. By the way, yeah, I'll be taking that home actually. Exactly. Oi, that's going to yeah. Chloe. <laughs> Next Christmas, Sign, in a no stocking. Lucky well, girl. I'll, lucky char- girl. No, I'll charge her for it. She's not getting that for free. <laughs> to Chloe, best wishes, James Haskell. Yeah. Once she's paid hundred fifty um, quid. If Murray's yeah. around, could Murray? I notice that Mike's looking a little empty on the side there. Murray, if you're able to come back. Um, it's awards time. You're watching the House of Rugby on Joe, together with Guinness. But as we said, it is the first annual House of Rugby Awards. It's a little bit like the Oscars, but uh, only slightly worse. 
Hello, Murray. We'll do one, two. Thank you. We haven't really finished it, so I don't think you can... <laughs> so, so before we get into the meat of the awards, we've just got a little special section to get into, which is uh, for you, Mike. Um, and we'd like you to hand out the bouquets, first of all, to the best Irish player of 2018. <laughs> best Irish player, obviously, don't think too long and hard. Uh, well, I'm going to stick with the... With, I'm going to call you Tad. <laughs> <laughs> Teg! Tad, Tag. Tad, wasn't the guy from oh, can I say, uh, can, I rewrite, can I re-say this? I am going to give it to Mr. Furlong. Tag Furlong. Yes, yeah. you said it beautifully. Thank you. Not Johnny Sexton? Not Johnny well, Sexton. No, because uh, uh, well, even though you got record. World Player of the Year, well done. But right. I'm, well, you said that. You didn't say that with like, a sincere tone, but well done. No, that wasn't fine. I know that you got that. You're, right. po- you're pointing out an obvious fact. Oh, right, 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 fine, I'm saying fine. well done to okay. you. Oh, oh, I think um, you said well done to him. No, he's obviously had a fantastic year, but I, I always think <clears> props <throat> deserve their recognition when they get them, because they don't get them very often. You're a good man. Well, no, 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 I think let's be clear. Props deserve the recognition when they do something that's, that's recognised. Doing scrums is not... No one deserves an award doing for that. Doing your job, basically. Yeah, you're not... He, he does he, things because he, he carries them. and plays really well. Yeah. That's what he does. That's why he should get recognition. Normal front row stuff. That should not be celebrated. Best Irish team? Oh. Ireland or Leinster? No, I'm going to go Leinster. You can't just can't give it, give it to, to anyone yeah. in green, can you? Well, he gave me this. He couldn't wear this. He said it, it felt like it was burning his skin. <laughs> <laughs> he said. Like those flags. <laughs> <sadly>. <laughs> <laughs> See, the best was, Literally, like, I, be, I, I thought about putting it on, but then I did put it on for a bit and I stopped talking to people. <laughs> oh, well, oh, you just didn't play smart. as well as you wanted right, to. Right, come on, concentrate. Here we go with our awards of 2018. It's a quick fire game, all right? So it's not long. Well, I need time to think because I don't know anything about no, rugby. I know, but it's a problem. Right. Best game of 2018. Have you got any ideas? South Africa, New Zealand. Mm. This is great quick fire. Have you like played it? anything that's notable? No. Thank you for being there. I know what you're doing, Rudolph. Yeah, no, I think it might probably have to be. This is South the thing, because you're, br- you're, you will remember games a lot quicker than I will. Yeah, I think you've literally got be. nothing else. Yeah. <laughs> Best player of 2018? Um, Sexton. Clerk. Clerk. Fafter Clerk. Best player to go for a Guinness with? ka Keep the sponsors happy. <sighs> um, <laughs> any of the Irish team. Uh... Uh, yeah, I think so. Could you contribute a little bit more? Yeah, I'm trying to think. <laughs> I, I was going to say Joe Marler. You are I was going to say Joe Marler. Current international. Joe Marler. Yeah, Joe, yeah, Joe Marler. Marler. I think it would be Joe very Marler. good to go for Guinness with. Uh, who's going to be on the show soon, I think. Best try of 2018. <sighs> Give us an option. Yeah. See, there's you know so many to choose three from. things that why you should let us see the questions. Yeah. We might yeah. do some research. And so what, is it, just any sort of communication from the backroom staff <laughs> would be quite nice. Um, right, give us a second on that. Right, let's think of some great uh, tries. It's all, it's been, well, all of this all of this has been sent through on the WhatsApp group and none of you have. Uh, yeah, no. all the options have been no. sent through. No, because mine I lost my broke my phone on Friday, so I lost all that, which right. is why I sent it back. I'm but then you didn't send options. me all the questions. Because you don't through. look at the group. Um it's really irritating. <laughs> Wait, do you want to calm down, Rudolph? <laughs> Will you hurt yourself, <laughs> pal? <laughs> <What's this>? <laughs> <laughs> it's alongside you. It's driving me to distraction. I hate to one of your who's um, snapped off. Sean Maitland, uh, Scotland against England or Are you fucking serious? We're not doing that. <laughs> Not mentioning that shit. Uh, I think <laughs> of good tries. There are so many to choose from. People yeah. at home are just oh, shouting. What, uh, well, oh. what, what won World Trial of the Year at the, the awards? Yeah, I know that both like the Barretts. Oh were yes, so like Brodie Retallick with the dummy. Brody Retallick. That was Cameron. a pretty good try. But Bro- Brody Retallick scored four. There was a lovely one where he went up the middle against the Wallabies. But there um, you go. You see, we're not going to be that accurate now, are we? And then you're just showing our lack of... Let's just say Brody Retallick. Welcome to the rugby podcast brackets. that knows absolutely right. nothing about well, you've rugby. You've got just different options. You've got can the one everyone. You've got our one, which doesn't really know a lot. You've got the absolute <laughs> Noors one with all the lads in the basement. Uh, oh, actually, are very nice. They're very complimentary of us as well. So we've got... Yeah, a, they are, I can't, actually. JB and like the gang the... of Merry Virgins yes. in his Nan's attic or whatever it is. Um, yeah, they're all, all out in Monaco. Yeah. Um, best coach of the year. Tins has now gone to his phone to try and do some digging. He's watching something else. <laughs> well, don't watch Netflix. You, no, watch die hard. I've got best tries of 2018. What do you think wins? Give us 15 minutes while we just watch <laughs> the, uh, I'm the video. I'm going to say for... Short Maitland's in there. Yeah, but of course he is. It was a good try. Well, well I, was, was it good? No, no, we're going to say one of the retaliators. Best coach of the year. Uh, it's got to be Schmidt. Sorry, let me turn say, um, Eddie Jones? No. I would love to say Eddie Jones. But I would think no, I, wasn't, I, I feel I wasn't like it, leading you to. Yeah, no, I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think as, as best coaches go, you could give it to anyone. Uh, best, uh, thank you, Murray. Oh, Enter. Yes. Thank you very much. Can we, best can fans, we restart not this. Your, uh, actually, look at some tries and then re- and just bang them out pretty quickly. Do you want to do? 
No, keep going. No, no. No. Keep going. No. But this, says he this, this is what they say is, this is gold. Yeah, this is comedy <laughs> gold. Uh, this, is, this is the worst awards ceremony Next. of all time. Best yeah. fans, not your own. Um, uh, without doubt, Irish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to say, um, yeah, the Irish fans. No, I'm, you have to say Irish because if you ever played at Munster in a Heineken Cup game, or you've ever played at Leinster, or you you have played at the oh, old so Raven, Road, Raven Hill's good. <clears throat> Actually, Raven Hill. My favorite. Ma- we, but we we King's when I last played there, I think we put like 30 points on them in the first 10 minutes. We shut them up quite quickly, but oh. they are normally epic as well. My favorite was they don't beat us by too much, and then you win. They're like. Ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where have you come from? Or, or if they beat you back there, they go, oh, you played well. Yeah, you played you're well. lying, you know, sir. You, you scored 40 <laughs> against us. You're lying. Oh, come and have a drink. <laughs> They're always good at making you feel good about yourself. Good Slash about losing. Slash also bad. Uh, best ground, we might have touched on some of them elsewhere. What, best ground, just full stop? In the world. Um, in 2018, but you can go back in Principality. History. Yep, like that. Rivaled with when we played, uh, uh, we played at Bluntfontein in 2000. That was, that was good. So it that was, was Johnny's. That was his. He kicked twenty-seven points, didn't he? It was hostile. But then, but How hostile? That. Like properly? Like wow, yeah. this is hostile. Yeah. Not as hostile as when we, we we went there in 2014. And they put all of us in the middle of the stand. <laughs> that, we got there. Um, I can't remember his name now, but we got. All, we were in the stand, sitting there, and. We were surrounded by South African fans who, after a few pints, started to abuse us. So we obviously started rearing up, and what, I think something something happened. And I got up to do something, and one of the guys went, "Sit down, you silly boy!" And I was like, I'm "28, mate. Like, what are you talking to me like I was a naughty schoolboy?" But I sat back now. Who, who was it? <laughs> I can't remember his name now, but um, he was like one of the coaches' coaches, and he, um, yeah, he told me off. And I was like, "Hold on, it." And people are getting filled in, and I, I was. But had you come out with the Lawrence Delalio? Have you brought your tools, mate? No. <laughs> Of course I haven't. What Lawrence like shouting at the and back? And then he shouted back at you going, this is our man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, like I didn't think, I was a cockney gangster, <laughs> a mockney gangster from Lockstock. <laughs> you do play up to that though. I do not. I'm not Papa at all Wick like and Wellington. Yeah, but I, don't, I, don't think I'm, I don't think I'm Vinnie Jones from Lockstock. Lowell actually thinks he's, he's <laughs> Vinnie Jones from Lockstock. He turns up with two <laughs> shotguns wherever he goes. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's, it heads in the door. Yeah. Doesn't work Bonjour. Like <laughs> uh, best player to get stuck in a lift with? Is this out of current or just... Well, it's maybe the 2018 awards, but frankly, the whole thing's unraveled so spectacularly. <laughs> just chuck out anyone you want. If it's, it's 2018. Um, I think... Uh, who do I know that's funny and I quite like to get stuck in a lift with? I like, I like Danny Care, so I, I always... Danny like. Care. Uh, best thing you did on 20, in 2018 on the field, quickly. Remember the ruck rule. Ruck rule, ruck rule. Oh, no, tw- I know what it is. So I'll have a shing shong. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was the best thing. I slurred my words yeah. due to a technical fault. It was nothing to do with it was me. Technically on the pitch, so it came. Yeah. Okay. The rest of it's worst, worst, worst player. I'm not going to ask you. Worst fans. Worst ground. Worst thing of 2018 about well, the game. Well, let's build bridges with everyone else. Yeah. Um, yeah at the same time. <laughs> worst, worst fans. Who gives you the most grief? Well, is, does that make them the worst fans? Well, I don't know. If I mean, they're just, playing their these role. Are generic questions. Obviously, the Gloucester fans are great, but are they w- the worst fans for you to play for us, or do you enjoy playing in that situation? I'm trying to think. Uh, don't stress yourself. No, no. no. Leicester, Leicester fans. Predictions. Leicester can you fans. can you do predict? Do you know the teams in the Premiership? Can we? Yeah, some of them. Right. Predictions. Quick fire. Who's going to win the Premiership this year? London Welsh. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, uh, Paul. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Saris. Who's going to win the European Cup? Claremont. What do you think? No, I think Leinster. To lose. Oh, I do like that. Oh, I do too. A little, were they still outside bets? Do you know? Yeah, I think they are. I think they're coming in, but yes. Uh, who's going to win the Six Nations? England. No well, good, good answer. Eddie, give me a call. Yeah. Um, you spoke to Eddie this week, didn't you? I might have done. <laughs> This is a difficult question. Are you getting I, bored now? Because yeah. 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 You have literally yeah. switched off. <laughs> 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 you really have talking about Christmas and turkeys and pies. You, it's you the have se- given up, <laughs> given <laughs> that we've gone into <laughs> It's either the chat. second pint or he's just deflated. No, no, I'm, just, I'm just thinking about, I'm like thinking like serious rugby bit. Like, um, you can't do it, can you? You cannot manufacture I interest. I think uh, it's still Ireland's to lose, but they do have to go away from home three times. So that will make it tricky for them. But they've got Scotland... Yeah, and they've Where got England. France, they've got England away at her. England up going there. Yeah, just a, should hopefully be a tough game. It probably won't be, but um, and then they have France going there, don't they? Yeah, who are on a bit of a resurgency. World Cup finalists: Ireland and New Zealand. 
I'm trying to think. You know, you said can that the... actually technically technically happy? You will yeah, happy. Yeah, will that yeah, technically yeah. happy. Because so. you will know the groups, obviously. I know the groups. I you'll know the dates of when they play. Um, the, the, yeah, I know the starting 15s. I know can the, I ask you a question? So technically, in 2018, I've played for two sides, haven't I? I played for Wasp and for yes, all right, and England. Yeah, I did. Yeah, actually, I just, I just, I was only thinking of when you said what I'd done the best thing on the field. I think the best that was, thing I was done fourteen the field. questions ago. You got an answer for it? <laughs> yeah. I actually passed the ball you through know, my legs. You know when he said his confidence was low? We've done fourteen questions. He's <laughs> still thinking about <laughs> what the best thing. He was. I, I think no, confidence I, is low. And I passed the ball through my legs, and we, um, and we scored, and then we got disallowed for a high tackle that wasn't. That was uh, amazing. Yeah, that was good. Well, see, I missed that. Do on you want to get? With you. Yeah. Got any other answers for any other questions? Well, uh, the worst fans. Um, <laughs> Anyone who's drunk you who tells you a life yeah. story and <laughs> tells you that, he, that a friend of their friend of their friend of theirs goes to school, used to go to your old school, and then looks at you as if you're going to go, oh, thanks, mate, let's be friends. Do you want to come home and... I was going to say bang my missus. <laughs> 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 no, no, yeah, you oh, just well, did. We did, we did, we did. Uh, amazing what happened. Well, congratulations, what part congratulations. Of the show, Once again, yeah. Chloe, um, congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, World Cup finals on in New Zealand. The World Cup winner will be, can he split it out? New Zealand. No, he can't. Oh, uh, Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Media. Dot IE. <laughs> he's literally glazing over. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all, we've got to get through this quickly before Hass nods off. Um, How far will England go? All the way. <laughs> the, <laughs> to the <laughs> semis. You fucked it because you said New Zealand the thing. I think I, that in my alternative tournament, the plate, the vase will go all the way. How far will England go? Um, I I would hope they go to the final, but I will say semi-final. Will you go to the World Cup? Yeah, probably as a tourist. <laughs> one of them Gulliver's <laughs> travels with, a, with my own little sack and a microphone, holding an umbrella and leading a whole lot of rugby noise down the thing. Paddles, so yeah. this way, tourists. Yeah, going, yeah. oh, something about rugby happened here and there's some other lads about rugby over here and I don't know those teams and that'll be it. It's a really right. difficult question, that, because you want really, I really want to be... Uh, Passionate about that because I know the England can, can go all the way and win mm -hmm. it, but are they? I don't think they're in that place yet. Well, I do. So, well, no, of course you will do. You <laughs> yeah. have hopes to go. <laughs> hopes. <laughs> you are shattered. <laughs> um, yeah. We've got a Guinness Perfect Pour for you. Oh, oh my I'm god! Not, I'm not entirely sure you're in yeah. a state of mind to do this, but it is your weekly test in 119 and a half seconds because that's how I'll long it takes it. to pour the perfect pint of Guinness. There's no real right or wrong answers this week. We've given up on testing you, so it's just sort of your Christmas hinterlands and thoughts. Hinterlands. Yeah. Sounds like it's a big word. Yeah. Sounds like is it a German word? <laughs> no, it's an English word. Oh right, hinterlands sounds like something like you're like oh the event into the hinterland. <laughs> <laughs> no. Too much? Who cares? M more Keep it alcohol. In. Please, Vicar. <coughs> um, <coughs> stockings, yes or no? Yeah. Yes. Midnight Mass, yes or no? Yes. Favourite carol? Um, little, oh, little Town of Bethlehem. How does that go? I know. Oh, Little Town of Bethlehem. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, that's like that. I can't. The professor's lost his shit. Right, like, carry on. Come on, Rudolph. <laughs> Steer this shit. <laughs> <laughs> this, ship's, this, this ship's like the Titanic. This ship's completely <laughs> buggered. <laughs> uh, uh, I guarantee uh, our, our captain's not going down with no, this. He's not. He'll be straight off. His, off. Off. his, his career's already taken a point. He needs to get out of here. He'll be in a luxury life craft that he brought himself. Yeah. Uh, Come on then, what's next? Presents in the morning or after Christmas dinner or on Boxing Day or on Christmas Eve uh, or whatever both, it is that you do. Both. Pre uh, Just loads yeah. of presents. Andy, loads. Andy Christmas Day would normally be... On Christmas Day and then overflow to Boxing Day if, if it's a good Christmas. Can you cook a Christmas lunch? Yeah, I did. I cooked the turkey on the barbecue and absolutely smoked it this year. Literally. And, and physically. Because yeah. yeah. that's what the barbecue can do. Sometimes I could, you are too I could, of your own good. I could cook one. Just haven't had to. Yeah. Congratulations, you get a point each. Uh, what Christmas meat do you go for? Turkey. Okay. What do you have? Goose or something? I bet you what? have. Let me put it out there. I yeah, bet you the have. Seven bird. The, yeah, the seven bird feast. Yeah. Right, I have a swan, with it. stuff for the chicken, <laughs> stuff for the wren, stuff for the crow. <laughs> That's what you would have. Stuff for the crow. Crow. Yeah, crow's a delicacy. If sold in the river. A raven. 
It's not the birds I would have first gone to if I was <laughs> oh, thinking. Seven. Okay, an owl, an owl, pheasant, an owl. You've got to actually think of birds that you might Wait. eat. You do go occasionally fire a shop on the tree, so you should know. There you go. There you go. You've got two up. birds. Mince pies owl. or Christmas pudding? This is a shambles. Mince pies. Mince pies. Mince pies. Favorite uh, favorite Christmas song outside of your uh, little town? Uh, of oh, Twelve Days of Christmas by the Smiths. Uh, the, uh, the, the Pogues. The, no, 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 no. There's another one called. There's something where they do the funny version. But just say the Twelve Days of Christmas. I did. A, I, we did a Saints version of the Twelve Days of Christmas. Our mini teams. I wrote rewrote the words. And it, the no. bit was instead of uh, a partridge in a pear tree, it was Hass getting drunk on TV. Very good. It was very good. Very. And good. it was on the first day of Christmas. Boydie gave to me so Hass re- getting drunk on TV. We just did a rerun. Yeah. Five no, gold. No, no, it was five balding. <laughs> <laughs> can't say it because that really will. Yeah, yeah, yeah we can't go there yet. Um, Favorite Christmas movie we've done already, but the answer is Elf. Yeah, I need to pick something different. Home Alone. <laughs> Die Hard. Because uh, it's stop trying to make yourself look cool. Your yeah. character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down to Abbey. Down to Abbey. The movie. <laughs> True. Sprouts. Yes or no. Yes. Yes, with pancetta and various other oh, bits. Yeah, nice. Don't look at me, yeah. Holly or Ivy? Depends what they look like. She's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. Shouldn't laugh at my own jokes, but it is good! <laughs> yeah. He's managed to land one punch yeah. in this entire show. Can you wrap a Christmas present? Yeah. <clears throat> well? No. It looks like um, the early learning centre's been to uh, the, yeah. the, the, the toy department and had a day out. You get your ribbons, don't you? Get, then get, yeah. Do you put nice ribbons on? Up. Do you put ribbons on? Do you curl the ribbons? I've tried. I do that. I didn't say thumb off. I won't say it, it had world. gone that well this year. Surely you've got a person that you just ring. You just leave the presents out there, don't ring up, Jeeves comes. <laughs> <laughs> you did have a person come around uh, earlier on this month to see, you know, I, I was like, it really ha- carried away that, we actually have forgotten about the National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. That is a great Christmas That movie. is a great Christmas movie. <laughs> so I had someone, Do you want to get back? We can I go had, back and re-record from I that had point, some, I had someone uh, come round to look at what it would, do, how much it would cost just to... Because we've got a little, little out barn that we're having some Christmas parties in. So it's like, can you... He tries to make that, that sound like a perfect normal conversation. <laughs> anyway, so I've got past the West okay. Wing. It's like a um, shed. Over the moat. Uh, it's there's a, cri- a party it's barn. It's a Christmas shed. Right, next to the party barn, next to the... That um, can hold 20, 30 people. So, right. um, <laughs> with ensuite bathrooms. <laughs> <every single one. laughs> yeah. Fuck you. Um, so we asked it what they would do, and then what it would cost to do the house. And then you realise that I can... Do it for a lot cheaper than that, so I'm not going to do it. But hmm. is it not cutting corners? Where was Mummy kissing Santa Claus? Well, what? Qu- quality Bond? of this year's present yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the penis. <laughs> <laughs> I could hear him moaning. I was going to do it in a slightly yeah, more classy said, way. In my ear, I just heard, oh, oh my God. No, no, Where did she... Uh, depending on the quality yeah, of the I was going to say, no, no, was, gonna say was that a Cluedo question? That's <laughs> no. in a room or, uh, or no, a body depend person? On, but... Depending on the quality of Christmas presents, <laughs> I'd say uh, on the cheek, because that's uh, appropriate, because you wouldn't cheat that's on my father. It's a song. It's underneath yeah. the mistletoe. Oh. Best Boxing Day lunch. Other than cold spread, uh, pepper salami, pork pies, uh, you know, essential items from MS, for example, cocktail sausages, French bread, salad. (laughs) (laughs) Mine's going to be in about an hour. Quiche Lorraine, quiche Lorraine. I I'm going to be intrigued to know how Guinness find this show, having put alcohol into the mix. Nah, Do you fine. think it's gone well? I think it's gone unbelievable. I think it's, this is probably the best show. I told you you shouldn't have let him pump, pump his... Shouldn't let him out of the arm beforehand. <laughs> right. Um, that's that. No, we've got to carry on more fun. Ask <laughs> you some more questions. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favourite colour? Red? Um, <laughs> very favourite motor car. Seriously, I, actually want, I just want to get home now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is it it's noticeable that Haskus never wants the show to end, does it? No. Why is he? Yeah. It? Him. Him. <laughs> yeah, actually, but, but he but refers to himself in all of those three. Yes. No, I'm not the third person. I haven't reached Lawrence Delalio status. Who's <laughs> Lawrence Delalio? La- <laughs> who's Larry? <laughs> Larry. <laughs> Larry Delalio. <laughs> Probably a better lad. I don't know whether to offer an apology or just <laughs> commiserate. Tell you what, we can hope. Let's not say anything. Let's just hope the editors on this show are, are amazing. more sober than you. No, or on point. I um, I just hope everyone's in the same place that you are when they listen to this today. They yeah. obviously have had a good Christmas yeah. day. I'm sure they will be. Good Christmas day. Order. I've now got this and sort of 40-minute read that I have to do at the end of every show, which is getting increasingly difficult. 
just a reminder to subscribe via YouTube or wherever it is you get your podcasts. <laughs> have another drink, sir. Uh, have another drink, sir. Podcast. Uh, that well-known medium, um, Podcos. Uh, 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 you can also download some of Joe's other programs. <laughs> really? Excellent. Miss. That is unprofessional and well done. Boys don't cry. Thank you, James. Boys do sometimes cry. Do they? For example, the producer of the show. <laughs> <laughs> and most of our listeners. And Guinness. And Joe. And if, you, if you're a young boy who loses a teddy. Yeah, Bobby. Bobby Bear disappeared on a plane. Got probably whizzed into. I just been screened out to rap. Hask, thank you very much. Tin's always a pleasure. Happy Christmas, Happy New Year, and hopefully we'll be back to see you sometime soon. <laughs> but no guarantees. <laughs> Bye for now. Jesus. <laughs> You've been watching the House of Rugby on Joe together with Guinness. Drink responsibly. Visit drinkaware.co.uk for the facts.